Welcome back to the Daily Buzz 716. You might know him best from The Sopranos, but our next guest is in town for the Buffalo Niagara Film Festival happening right now in Niagara Falls. We want to welcome him right off the airplane, actor Al Sapienza, <laughs> and also a participating filmmaker in the festival, Chris Walters. Hi. Welcome, Alan. Thanks. Hi. Welcome, Hi. gentlemen. It's Thank so nice you. to have you both Good here. Good to be here. So this is uh, ex an exciting time for Buffalo with movies and, and entertainment and actors, and we've got uh, so many films being made here here in Buffalo, That's good. and then we have these fabulous film festivals, so that brings all, even even more fabulous people into Western New York. So I'm sure you're about to tell us, both of you, that Western New York is like the best place you've ever been to visit. Ever. Yeah, you, you're going to. Al was back food. here many years ago. For, yes, in, in, 19, in 1980, I played the Shays Theater with Beatlemania. It was oh. a long time ago. That's well, I saw in your fun. IMDb that you're also a musician. Yes, and a singer. So um, what do you, other than your voice, what do you play? I played the drums for most of my life, and I, um, I'm a really good drummer, and I play a little bit of guitar and piano. But very I'm nice. a, drum, a real drummer. Tell very, us about the nice. film that you're doing um, here. It's called Gut Shot, and it's a... Uh, Say it again. It's called Gut, gut shot. shot. Not Gun Shot. No, gut. gut. It's worse so it's than a gun gunshot. Shot. It's in the shot gut. in the gut. Uh, gotcha. It's a kill and shot, Mary. <laughs> it's about a. Uh, it's about morals and ethics and uh, right and wrong. An ex-soldier gets involved in a home invasion and he d defends himself and kills a mobster's son. And it's about his whole plight to try and um, stay alive and. And is that you? Sort of the ex soldier? I'm, I'm the gangster. Oh. <laughs> I'm always the gangster. I have an Italian last name. That's all. That I've sounds thought. like an episode of Sopranos. It almost does a it's, little bit, doesn't it? It's probably why they hired me. Right. <laughs> and and of of course Al was on the Sopranos. Yes. So you've you've got you know, I looked I looked you up online. You've got quite a history here on IMDB. So um, tell us a little bit, how did you make the transition from musician into actor? You know, it's a it's a funny story. I played the I saw the beat on the Ed Sullivan show. Mm -hmm. I was playing the drums literally the next day. And, um, and then four months out of college, I got in this Broadway show, Beatlemania, mm. because I played the Beatles my whole life. I used to make so my father- you were father, Ringo. I was Ringo. <laughs> I used to make my father watch me play the B-side of Abbey Road in eighth grade. Mm. And um, so I'm in this show and I'm kind of acting because I'm Ringo, I have a nose and hair and all these things, <laughs> and I want to be an actor desperately. So I saved up my money after the tour, and I moved to LA, and I went to acting class for 14 years in this mm. place, the Beverly wow. Hills Playhouse. And um, I started getting jobs, and then I started getting more jobs and more jobs. And well, that's a great little lab yeah. for actors at Beverly Hills Playhouse. Oh, it was phenomenal. Um, so is, it, is it almost as good as the Pasadena Playhouse or better? Well, the Pasadena Playhouse is really a theater where you do plays. <laughs> it was one of the most amazing places to learn acting. Elliot Gould was there, Richard Dreyfuss, and Archer, um, Clooney, Selleck, and they stayed after they were famous. Mm -hmm. Doris Roberts studied there for 29 years after wow. she had three Emmys. Mm. It was an amazing place place. He didn't, you didn't just go one day and say, I'm going to be an actor. You said, I'm going to learn how to be an actor and it's, work at it. it is a, in, I saw Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid at the Nanuet Mall Cinema mm -hmm. in New York, mm -hmm. the suburbs of New York. And I was like, I didn't know what a director did. I just wanted to do that. And I was like, I want to be an actor. And I had to, if I didn't find that place, the Beverly Hills Playhouse, I wouldn't have developed the craft to do it because I didn't know what to do. I but just you went to LA to find it. Yes. You did the work. Well, I graduated from NYU. I'm actually an NYU graduate, but I studied in that class for 14 years from uh, 84 to 98. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and I learned in that class that you have to do the work and it's about the work and everything else will come as a fringe benefit if you do the work. Most people go into it, you know, for a lot of reasons. They want to be famous. They want to get good tables at restaurants. They want, <laughs> but you have to do the work. So. Um, Chris, <laughs> as a director. I'm not a director. I'm taking all this in. I'm, oh, I'm an so actor, I'm an actor a writer, a producer. I can, I can aspire to direct someday. A filmmaker. Someday, a filmmaker. A film, I'm, as a I'm, filmmaker. I'm dying to go see Gutshot, though. And it's an honor to be with Al. It's a pleasure to be with oh, you all thank here. Thank you. That's so tell us what brings nice. you into Buffalo and what brings you into the film festival. SRQ State of Mind is the name of my film that's playing this Thursday at the Four Cinemas. And I'd always wanted to get a first film, if I was so blessed to have one, you know, produced like this, 
I wanted to enter it into this festival. I was born in Warsaw, New York. I went to Warsaw yesterday. I hadn't been back in 25 years. I've got, I've got, you know, oh, hair standing on ends. <laughs> Kid walks, you know, right up to me on the street, sees me and my buddy Dave Benner that's in the movies, you know, helps me out with the films. Honest to goodness, kind of a rough looking mom pushing the stroller. The kid's out front. The kid doesn't miss a beat. He says, what's up, friends? And puts up a hand, high fives me. I said, high fives right on time every time, little buddy. Nice. And I said, Dave, this is a sign. I said, this is a sign. And uh, SRQ State of Mind is the story of greed, crime, and betrayal. So I'm just, I'm eating up so everything else. A, so oh, that I'm could just, be a Sopranos episode. That's my all-time mm -hmm. favorite TV show, along with the A-Team, by the way. The A-Team? For what it's worth. The original A-Team. The, the old A-Team or the yeah, new Yeah, I didn't know they'd made a new oh, okay. TV yeah, program. Yeah, but, uh, so it, it, is, it is a delight to be here. For, and Bill Caldwell, the does the fest festival, Buffalo Niagara Film Festival. I, I've wanted to be in this for the last several years. SRQ State of Mind, I kept tinkering with it, tinkering with it in post-production, fiddling with it. Our editor, Roger Cropley, did a great job. Our director, Faru, and his wife are getting in tonight. But uh, now it's done. When is it screening? It's screening Thursday at 7 p.m. at the Four Seasons Cinema as part of the festival. And it's just, it's such a, it's such a delight to be here. Awesome. This really was the festival I wanted to uh, premiere the movie. Oh, and this is a homecoming. Who doesn't, is, who doesn't want to premiere the movie in Buffalo? It's beautiful out here. Right? It's at exactly. Buffalo, Niagara Falls, exactly. the whole area. Can I say something really quickly? Absolutely. After I was successful, I went back to my hometown of Brooklyn, Word. and a little kid walked up and he goes, you want to buy a nickel bag? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Did you hide five of them? He knew you. Watched yourself. Oh, my God. That's, 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 that's good stuff, though. <laughs> I'm kidding. That so, was a joke. So, <laughs> Al. Oh, my gosh, Al. So, Al, yes. uh, share with us uh, some of the the, the movies and and some of the television shows that people would recognize that you've been a part of. Well, I was on Person of Interest for four years. I was the uh, the head of the corrupt wing of the police department called HR. I played Raymond Tierney. The Sopranos was one of the best experiences of my life. I can't even tell you how lucky I was mm. to have landed that role right in the beginning when it was um and uh, and. The whole first year of The Sopranos was shot before they were ever on the air. Mm. So it was all working actors. The only one who was kind of famous was Lorraine Bracco. She hadn't right. done anything for mm -hmm. a few mm -hmm. years. Jim just did Crimson Tide and Get Shorty. Mm -hmm. It was struggling with how York many actors. careers it made. Oh my God. Your Edie mm. Falco. I mean, uh, Dre DiMatteo was basically an mm -hmm. extra the first year. She had a few lines as the hostess. And, and she was so good. Oh, she was fabulous. So that was just such a wonderful experience. House of Cards, working with Spacey, was mm. it's like playing tennis with Augusty, your game just gets better. Yeah. And um, uh, what else? I, a lot of things. I gotta look on. I've, I've been doing this my whole, pretty much my whole adult life. This is so, so wonderful. I can, yeah. We have to thank. We want to thank Alan, Chris, for being with us today, and encourage you to check out the many screenings happening as part of the Buffalo Niagara Film Festival from now through Friday. We have to take a short break, but we'll be right back with some final thoughts. Mm -hmm.